So here's a quick story about deception and a poor guy being trapped into a marriage not knowing what's really going on. Titled, My wife, a 33-year-old female, cheated three years ago when we were engaged. And you're going to see the cheating obviously happened when they were still engaged, but she married him anyway. He says, I just found out last night that my wife of one and a half years cheated on me three years ago while on a work trip with a colleague. Oh, how nice of her, yet she's still married you anyway. His wife informed me, and I asked my wife, and she broke down but didn't deny it. The waterworks. It was during a work trip. She was drinking with her colleagues and woke up in her colleague's bed. She said it was one of the worst moments of her life, but she didn't tell me out of fear that it would lead to, to the end of our relationship. Well, duh. No guy wants to marry some girl who just cheated on him and, of course, blamed on the alcohol, <clears throat> which, by the way, that's always the excuse. Instead, she decided to stop drinking and have better boundaries. Now, I knew she stopped drinking around three years ago, but didn't know the exact reason. Later, she started therapy, and apparently her therapist also told her that since it was a one-time thing, and she was also making changes to make sure it never happens again, that it wouldn't serve any purpose to tell me. On the contrary, it would just cause trauma to me. The right thing to do is that she should have told him when it happened immediately. He probably would have broken up with her. But may, but there would have been some, maybe some chance, if she truly was sorry, I'm not saying he should have done this, but that he may have given her a second chance. You know, She could have cried and begged and said she stopped drinking and all that, but no, she hid it from him and all that. And you can see here, she's going to therapy, she stopped drinking and all that, but you know what? At the end of the day, alcohol or not, she wanted to cheat, and she lied intentionally. So she never told me. Now, I am 90% sure she hasn't cheated in the past three years, as she mo mostly works from home, and there have been no red flags in her behavior, which I can recall. But then again, you aren't looking for it. But of course, I can't be sure of it. Hell, it feels like I can't be sure of anything right now. I've shifted in the, gu the guest room for now, but I'm really confused about what steps I should take. My marriage has been very happy one day, very happy one until yesterday, so it's even more confusing. Is divorce the only way? And he says, there's a little update, he says, So I got more answers from the wife of the guy she cheated with. Apparently this is not the first time he has cheated, and his wife asked him to confess everything or she would divorce him. That's why he told her. And they work for the same company, but he doesn't live in my city. But yes, he's still in the same company. What do I think? Send her ass to the street. She deliberately married him, knowing full well she just cheated. Okay, that guy had a right to freaking know. And if she's cheating right before the uh, the wedding, that doesn't tell me she's in love with this guy too much, let alone ready to be a wife. That's very nice. She stopped drinking, at least that's what she claims, and has gone to therapy. Okay, fine. And he thinks they've been having a great marriage. So but maybe, just maybe, devil's advocate, she truly was sorry, and she screwed up and all that. But still, I wouldn't want to be married to that. Hell no. So I say, psh, done. It's three years. She confessed all that. Hopefully he wouldn't get too hard in the divorce courts. I'm harsh, but you know what? I know reality. And now that he knows this, if he allows it to go by, she might think, well, he let it go when he found out I cheated. What can I do? And he's not going to get this out of his head. He's always going to be thinking twice when she's on her phone, out at a work trip, stuff like that. Life's too short to deal with it. A few, few comments here. One guy says, uh, she let you marry her without confessing. And alcohol is never a get out of jail car for cheating. If you would have broken up upon finding this out back then, or at the very least delayed or not got married, that, then, you, then you know your answer. Another guy says here, at least you now know that she will protect herself, even lie to you at her benefit. I question, I question his advice of telling people to lie to those with vows, an ethical issue for counselors. Both the counselor and your wife had to know that your wife was not the only person involved. There was another man, and the other man could tell anyone, or be caught by his wife, who might tell you. They rolled the dice, and they lost. But in the end, it worked. If she had told you the truth, you probably would have gotten never gotten married. But now you probably will stay with her because she's so sorry. Crime pays, that they say. Another guy says, yikes, that's pretty horrible she married you, keeping such a big lie, and took away your consent. Get tested. Ask her what is going what she is going to do to earn your trust. She lied for years, and you may have walked away, and instead, she trapped you in a marriage. Yes, she did. And that is not cool, and he has every right to end things. So, we shall see.